Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at 10 things you may want to know about the new Nog Scout bike alarm and finder. There are other products on the market, but this one is both a theft deterrent and potentially bike finder under $100. What is a Nog Scout? The Nog Scout is a Bluetooth operated bike alarm and finder that works off the Apple Find My App system. This means it is not a GPS and it will need to be near an iPhone. You must have an iPhone to be interested in this device since that is what is used to arm and disarm and the bike needs to be near an iPhone or other Apple product for tracking. If you do have an iPhone, let's move on to the other nine things in the order of importance in my personal opinion. This has an alarm with up to 85 decibels. According to Google, this is equivalent to a hairdryer or food blender. This alarm feature is what really brought my attention to this product. A friend was at Walgreens and someone started messing with their bike and the alarm scared that person off. Now, there are many other trackers that use Bluetooth like the Apple AirTag. But personally, I wanna keep my bike from getting stolen, not just hope I know where it is when it's been stolen. The alarm sensitivity can be adjusted in the app. So if you're locking up at a busy bike rack, you want it to be less sensitive. This is something I've been testing and will include in the full review in a couple of weeks. If you are within Bluetooth range, the Scout will also notify your Nog app there are two ways to arm and disarm the Scout. Both of them rely on your iPhone connected to it via Bluetooth. The first way is on the app. It's pretty straightforward. What's nice about this is you can turn off the alarm before you're even at your bike. The second way is a button on the side of the Scout, but you will need your iPhone in your pocket with the app running in the background for this to work. Another important thing to me is battery life and how the battery is charged or replaced. The Scout is charged via USB-C off the side, which will be easy to access when it is mounted on your bike. It is worth mentioning here that the Scout does not come with the USB-C cable to help cut down on waste. Nog says it will last six months on a charge. I do assume colder weather will have an impact on this, and I plan on testing that on some cold nights that are coming up. Physically on the Scout, there are LED indicator lights. They show if it is armed, disarmed, and the battery charge. There are two looks to the Scout. First, there's bright and obvious with the cover installed. Take it off and you have a more stealth look. This is also how you can fit it underneath some bottle cages. The anti tamper screws used are very unique and should help with theft. At the time of recording this, it is 60 US dollars. I'm gonna to continue to test these out. I currently only have one unit in, but you can have multiple units added to one of your NOG apps. So I wanna test that out. I wanna see how the Scout handles cold and longer term weather abuse both for the battery and for the casing. I wanna to continue to test out the sensitivity, the noise. And the last question I have, which isn't specific to the NOG, is how will police handle tracking top dollar electric and cargo bikes? This is for Bluetooth or GPS trackers. I personally never wanna go after a stolen bike, but at a certain dollar, I hope authorities would. I plan on asking a few different police departments to see their thoughts. In summary, I've used AirTags to keep track of demo bikes, track them on flights or shipping. I've tested GPS units for theft, but as I've said, I personally want to avoid my bikes being stolen in the first place. The idea of this easy to use alarm that also doubles as an AirTag seems like a good start. If you found any of this info useful, make sure to click that like button below and hit subscribe for more content like this. 
If you have any questions or thoughts on the Scout or other alarm and tracking devices, let me know in the comments. Until next time, stay well, stay good, and remember, get on your bike and leave the car at home when you can.